just found out tonight that the funeral home had uh, made a video which they would have given to at least my dad and my siblings. Of course, I didn't get my copy. Bastards. And so, if I didn't know that I could record, I would have had to have paid for my own mother. They never bothered to tell me she died. They never bothered to tell me about the funeral. And forcing me to pay. Fortunately, I knew how to record. Bastards. So, yeah. Salt Lake Temple. They got married in the Los Angeles Temple. So, why the Salt Lake Temple? Not quite sure. saw the photo of my conception night that was where they're at the cake and you see the unknown little girl at the end of the table there and then they show my mom pregnant in March nothing of me alone with them as a baby notice that they literally have erased me from their lives only the photos with other siblings was I included. There are some photos I never even saw before. Especially of my mom as a little baby, a little girl, a teenager, and with grandma and grandpa. Once I hit puberty, that's when my mom mentally abandoned me. She just gave up on me. She literally thought I was a bad person from that moment on, once I hit puberty. And I didn't realize it in actuality I suspected it as a kid because she just she was behaving differently but uh, when I was older and visiting she would always talk about my childhood never about once I hit puberty she wouldn't say anything about that time period of my life you know so she would say oh your wasn't your your favorite cake this yeah when I was three <laughs> she just my my life just is gone from her mind and it's not just me she does it with anybody she disapproves of are gone from her mind too and uh, only remembers them when it's you know, a time where she didn't disapprove of them. For example, Elvis Presley. As a teen girl, yeah, she loved Elvis. Had all his records and screamed like teenage girls do. They're God. <laughs> <laughs> but then he hit his drug years and I remember my mom saying that as a kid 
that uh, she didn't doesn't care for his music once he hit his drug years. That's why she never went for the Beatles. It was Elvis when it was good, clean, and wholesome. <laughs> but once Elvis hit his drug years, Mom blocked him out of her mind and only would remember the good Elvis. And so all of the songs during the drug years, nope. So yeah, that's exactly what she did to me. And so yeah, there's even some photos of me that uh, I had not seen and uh, some that I had forgotten about. And then you'll see that the first ex was with me at one point in time and then she's with some other guy. And, and then I saw one photo where she was with my grandkids, my kids actually, uh, there's grandkids involved in another one too, but, and they're with, with my parents. And that was, they never even, and so yeah, it's fully appropriate for them to put the Salt Lake Temple at the beginning of that video as the theme for her memory, showing the inverted pentagram. Church just destroys lives. All I could think of seeing my mom as a little baby, just adorably cute, as to how the church just turned that sweet, innocent little baby into a destroyer of her own family. And a destroyer of the my own family, her firstborn, whom they were ashamed of. I don't understand why anybody thinks the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is good. They are homewreckers.